Intuition is about engineering common sense, about judgment. It's about developing a mental framework. It is ability to predict structural behavior before. And I believe that intuitive understanding, it allows engineers to make quick and informed decisions. It is about how and why a structure behaves under loads. So as far as today's talk is concerned, as we discussed that there are so many questions or, or we can say a lot of questions. So we have tried to divide those uh, questions in uh, in a three different themes, uh, right? So, so let's say if we just try to see, uh, this is the theme number one. What is uh, intuition in structural analysis? Why is it important? Uh, theme number two, how can engineers develop and apply uh, intuition over time? And theme number three, how can intuition be taught, tested, and made a habit? Right. And, and, and then uh, out of a uh, number of questions, we have shortly stated a few of the uh, good questions. Of course, because of time limit, we will not be able to touch upon all the questions. But we have shortly stated a few questions. So can we take uh, uh, the, the question number one just to start with? Yes, please. Can you display the question? Yeah, sure. Yeah. So the yeah. first question is, what is uh, intuition in structural analysis? That's really very interest interesting. And by, by the way, these are not only <laughs> few good questions. Yeah. All questions were really, really very interesting. I really wanted to talk about them, in fact. <laughs> yeah. But obviously, yeah. in the interest of time and in the interest of the topic, we just chose what was relevant to the topic. <laughs> Okay. So starting with this one, I think this is a broader topic. And in my view, it is ability to predict structural behavior before performing detailed calculations or computer analysis. It's not about guessing how beam is deflecting or how frames are deflecting. It's about developing a mental framework that tells you how loads travel, what is the load path, where forces accumulate, and how materials will respond. And these are really very important questions that we need to be asking ourselves before looking at structures. And I believe that intuitive understanding, it allows engineers to make quick and informed decisions that really helps them identify if there are any potential issues. It is about how and why a structure behaves under loads. And as David Braun, he said in his famous book, I, I'm sure your audience will know David Braun. He has got a famous book on structural behavior. <laughs> he says that it is about engineering common sense. It is about judgment. Intuition is about engineering common sense, about judgment. And just to give you an example, I have a few props which I use in my lectures all the time, and they turn into building, they turn into beam, they turn into frame, they turn into columns. And these are very simple things which I think every one is this one, another is this one. <laughs> Just imagine this is a cantilever beam. If you're holding it like this, if you apply loading over here, what happens? We got to be thinking what happens. It has practical relevance. It is really related practically. If we are applying load over here, where do you think we will have tension? Where do you think we will have compression? Where will you put reinforcement in a beam? If you have a beam, where will you put it? Post your answers in the comments and tell me where will you put it? And there could be major disasters if reinforcement is reversed. Normally, in simply supported, simply supported beams, we put reinforcement at the bottom, main reinforcement. And at negative regions, if we have a continuous beam, it is at the top. 
here the reinforcement should be at this point which is top which is tension because concrete is weak in tension and really very strong in compression <laughs> another simple example is this one if i have if i have a simply supported beam left this side is this side is a pin and this side is roller if i apply loading in the middle what will happen as simple as that it will deflect downwards what will be bending bending will be like this and where will be reactions we will have two reactions over here and we got to be asking ourselves that how structure will behave in real life of course this is a simple problem but it is relevant we have to start from really very simple things so that we can build that confidence and how about if we are loading a beam like this it is bending quite a lot if we are loading a beam like this now if i apply loading it is really not bending so we should be asking ourselves how we are going to orient our beam and these are simple concepts this is because of because of moment of inertia i hope that these questions got you thinking about how we approach the different things here i have a question for you can you recall a moment in your career or in your studies where intuition has helped you to solve a structural problem or potentially avoid a mistake is there any situation have you faced this uh, situation i think i should be asking this question to bhavan as well that why is it important <laughs> <laughs> yeah it is absolutely important and in fact there are many incidents where uh, this intuition has has helped us uh, because as uh, I, of course the, i think you will be covering this point that now uh, uh, as we are moving ahead slowly and gradually structural analysis is becoming more and more complex uh, and in fact you know that those were the questions which we had like uh, related to non linear analysis related to dynamic analysis related to even uh, uh, let's say response spectrum analysis etc now when we are creating this kind of non linear analysis then it's only uh, this structural uh, we can say this intuition which will help us it's a kind of a tool which is uh, which is with us uh, by which we can validate we can authenticate the results before we uh, process the design or before we release the drawings for the construction so there are in fact n number of incidents i have where you know it really helped helped us uh, you know saving this structure. yeah yeah Uh, and uh, as you are telling these all are very very simple concepts uh, yeah. uh, which we yeah, can yeah. extrapolate to to even the most complex structures right yeah yeah now we have uh, received the answer from navan uh, yes so many times for example uh, deciding orientation of column uh, before the analysis right absolutely <laughs> yeah <laughs> so if our structural system is correct uh, at at the initial stage then lot of uh, rework is being saved uh, internal rework is saved i, I totally uh, agree yeah definitely yeah. <laughs> okay abhishek singh is saying that uh, i think intuition uh, about building behavior improves uh, with the experience right okay uh intuition is necessary at uh, checking fe model absolutely right oh, yeah. finite yeah. element model <laughs> really critical this is something i will cover as well <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah okay great